This one you're crying. Seems she's dead. Hi. What offense did I commit? What wrong did I do? What is happening to my family? This is the second child I'm losing. Hey! Is this ordinary? Or the Achi does not want them to leave? Where is her body? The herbalist house. husband's age the children are dying as if a curse was laid on my family I will not take another one than for seven years it is only this boy who has been the survivor of all your children. Hi. The one before him died. A beautiful girl. Hey. I just lost another baby girl. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm done with you and this marriage. This might be water spirit that is holding your wife. Take her back to her parents and go and marry another woman. Look at my mates' compounds. They are filled with children. Let's look for black goats when it is day. Kaichue Woji. Mbuchide. Mama, I will surely do something about this. Mm -hmm. If this is all about water spirit, I will simply go and appease it. Yes. At least for them to leave my family alone. What type of nonsense is this? Mm -hmm. Since I got married from Amoda village, it's not something I can wave. I have lost two daughters in a stretch. This thing is not ordinary at all. 
Well, I am married from my mother too. And my daughters are dying. They are dying mysteriously. As a matter of fact, I just married one, not quite long. Why? Why is this thing happening? I think we should make consultations on this because it is getting out of hand and I am not finding it funny. Not any longer. That Amoda is known for water spirits. But I'm surprised that their male children are surviving. Look, I found out that it is not happening to both of you alone. I went to Mukodo village yesterday. And I was told that other young women married from Amoda, all of them are having the same issues. But that is good for Epa. Didn't I tell you that? Amuda has some strange happening in that village. I married my wife because I love her. She's not an Osu. Amuda has no record of Osus or slaves. They are all freeborn. That this thing happening does not make my wife a bad woman. No! Neither is she the one killing her children. Water spirits. What? 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 I, I, I don't understand. I don't get it. Amuda is where your wives came from. Both of you are in laws. Go. Check if what I said will lies. You don't fold your hands and watch things go wrong. Amuda has a lot of young women that are married in other villages and communities. Go and make research. The truth is that I am not getting married if something is not done about it. How can our women be getting married and their girl children will be dying at birth? As we speak, 11 girl children born by our sisters from Amuda are all dead. Asking me to get married is just like telling a mango tree to bear Odala because it's not possible. Do you know that I overheard Iqbal's mother telling my mother that all the females in this village have water spirits. I don't know what she meant by that language. And I do not have the courage to ask her. Because I know that I will definitely lose my temper. She might be right though. Isigene, you girls have not heard that the king's daughter lost her own girl child last night. Yeah? Chulu, chulu, chulu. Which king's daughter? Princess Chugo. Chimo! That means it has gone round. Hey! That means it has gone round. If Princess Chugo that just got married last year could experience this kind of sorrow, the past mother may be right. Hey! Hey! Terrible. Please, let's just go home and think about our future. Because as it stands now, there's no hope of us getting married. As long as this rubbish continues, please, I'm leaving. Hey, this is true, go.
no, than no. back from the farm. Yes, I is the farm. Okay. Please keep this for me. Ah, Papa. Eh? I hope you have not finished the drink. No, 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 I've not finished. Don't finish it though. Hey, so you want to take some fire? Yes, so I'm coming. <laughs> daughter the thing that is happening in this village has never happened before not even in the entire community my father never told me of any such experience Papa, do we have any link with water spirits because Ipa's mother said we have some link with the spirits <laughs> no my daughter you see when things begin to happen like this. People are bound to say so many things. Then why are our sisters losing their girl child? So far, the count is 11. I did not even include Princess Chugo, whom I had lost her girl child last night. Eh? Princess Chugo lost her child? Who told you that? Nam. Is this how we are going to get married and start losing our children? Huh? We are scared of what is happening to us. Other people in other villages are having their children, but our own Omobo are losing theirs. Papa, it's becoming strange every day by day. Wando, don't worry yourself. We must look into how rats got into the nest where fishes are kept. We must find out. Don't worry yourself. Father. Father, all the maidens in this village are restless. Our women are being sent out of their husbands' houses. Because of this, I knew how it was for me. I knew how terrible I felt in my own husband's house. I knew how terrible I felt when I lost my baby that was born with her body intact. I felt terribly hurt, Father. I knew they didn't tell me all they wanted to say to me because of my status as the princess. Father, please. I am begging you. Help me. Help us. We, the young maidens in this kingdom, need your help. Please. Oh, oh I'm, I'm still confused. Uh, honestly, I, I don't understand what is going on. Uh, and none of my cabinet chief uh, ever brought this to my knowledge. Oh, uh, are you aware of it? No, not at all. Was it not last night that Chugu told me on how the maidens of this village came to this palace to discuss this issue? When she lost her baby, I thought it was normal with women and childbirth. I never knew it has gone round. Yes. Let me understand what is going on. Uh, I have two of my cabinet chiefs whose daughters are equally married. Uh, I will send for them. Your Majesty. The chair will do is here to see you, and he said it is urgent. Tell him I will be with him shortly. Yes, Your Majesty. Oh, 
Adama, what is it? Adama, talk to me now. Why are you crying? <laughs> Why are you crying? Adama. Please, let's go inside so that you will tell me exactly what the problem is. Ekedema, please, run. Go and look for your father. Tell him to come back home now. Please. Please, let's go inside. Mama, it's okay. Stop crying, it's okay. Let's go, let's go inside. No, it's okay. It's okay, eh? Let's go. Now, stop crying, eh? Let's go. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, you see, uh, last meeting, most of the things we discussed were not finalized. Mm -hmm. And this is what I'm going to raise in our next meeting. Mm, that's okay. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, 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 my daughter uh -huh. uh, told me that she has seen a suit of. Uh -huh. uh, hey, that's a good one. Uh, <laughs> Whatever they are coming for their visit, yes. I will want you to be around. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Papa, mm -hmm. let's go. Mama says you should come home now. What happened? Papa is a damn mom. She came back crying. I was even carrying her things. Mama has been asking her what the problem is. She refused to talk. She just kept on crying. This is terrible! <laughs> uh, Let me see my daughter. Eh? I will see you much later. It's okay. Eh? Uh, hey, take it easy. No, I, I don't I don't know, I don't know. Uh -huh. He will always beat me up and call me all sorts of names. That I'm a child eater. He accused me of killing our daughters. Last night he came back. He came back and said I should leave his house. And immediately his mother started throwing away my things. That pushing me away. Mama, could you believe that I slept outside the hut? What? Guinea? Yes. I slept outside the hut yesterday. This morning he came and woke me up. <laughs> he started pushing me again. He said I gave his three daughters to the spirit world. He said that our mother women are water spirits. And before I could say anything, he started beating and pushing me again. <laughs> you said his mother pushed you out and threw away your things? Yes, Mama. No. Then get ready. She must explain to me why she should throw away your things. I must deal with her and her son. I will not take it, though. I will not take it. No, 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 no. Let's take things very easy. Adama here is our daughter. This is her home. Let her be here until we find out what the real issue is. Hmm? Papa, we know what the issue is. Are you trying to blame the man who has lost three children within a space of time? Or are you blaming the woman whose grandchildren are all dying one after the other? Papa, the problem lies in Amuda village. We have been losing our Umuadiani and no one seems to be putting an eye on it. Now it has blown so huge. Well, let's expect more arrivals. Unless the elders sit up and start digging. Ekedim has said the truth. But that should not mean that a man should beat up his wife just because of something that everyone knows that is not the fault of the woman. 
children others will still come and complain the same thing i think there's something strange that is happening around us do you know that i couldn't sleep last night yes i was just thinking what is all this well i have told my father out. i have told him to, to wake up men should not sit why things are going wrong around them do you know I took him mistakenly and gave birth to a beautiful female child and she died the next morning. Nobody saw it because it was an unwanted pregnancy. It was why these things are happening that I remembered how my child died. If our lady who got married outside this village could be losing their girl children and I lost my own here, something is really wrong. But how come we survived? Or are we not women? We didn't die during or after our births. So how come our married sister's girl children are dying and the men are surviving? We must not stand here and be talking. What is the way forward? The way forward is for us to go see the princess and tell her our findings. She lost a child too and I heard she's worried. But what I do not know is if she's back to this village or not. Let's go and see her. Let's listen to her. She's a woman like us. Let's know what she has to say. Seeing the princess will not solve this problem. No. What can she do? This is the matter of the elders and the cabinet. No. My fellow girls, we can still see Princess Chugo. Maybe these whole worries have not crossed her mind. We are all disturbed. We are disturbed because we will all get married and follow up. Or who amongst us will want to lose a child in marriage? In that case, we should all go see the princess. Even if she's not in her father's palace, we all move to her husband's place to live for her. I think this is the best thing we should do right now. There are other DBS in this whole community. Why must he be Amoda? Any Libya from Amoda can see this thing very easy. I don't agree with you on this. A good DBA can see from the moon. Let's look for this black sheep while it's day. We can't keep losing our children and yet fold our hands and do nothing. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to Limoko. I see the Bakataka. The Bakataka is a very costly Dibia. He will demand for he good and other big items. What he says? Yes, he does. But he's a great Dibia and he will demand for big things. Well, we see him. Whatever he demands, I will bring it. You will bring it? Yes, and we must have to do that as soon as possible. Then we are is even okay. Fine. Yeah, well, yeah, yes, now. Fine. Oh, yes. Are you going to go to my husband? Which one? Is it Unko or Unko? Which one do you want? Anyone, bring anyone. Unko or Unko. I can't bring anyone. Because this movement I'm going to pay, you don't have money. I'm the one that's going to fold the beer. Go and bring it. Sisters from this village want to see her. She may not want to see any of you. 
there is an issue on ground. I think she may not like to be disturbed. So go. Well, we are here for the same issue. Just go and tell her that her sisters want to see her. And I said, go back and come back later. Will you stop this rubbish? Have you gone to her and she asked you to send us away? What is your problem? Go and call us the princess. Who is shouting? Good day, my, my princess. princess. My princess, we are the daughters of Amuda village. We are here to see you and have a very serious word with you. But this guard won't let us see you. I know a few faces. Dimma. Yes, my princess. Okay, Dimma. Yes, my princess. Mama, my princess. Mama. Uh, I'm sorry. A lot have happened lately. I lost. I lost my first child. The very child I gave birth to without any complication. I I lost her. I'm sorry, I I believe that's why the guard wouldn't let you see me. I'm sorry about it. It's okay, my princess. Um, we're here for the same issue, but not to console you. Not to console me? Yes, my princess. How many are we going to console? There are lots of bad things happening in this village. And if we keep consoling everybody, then we are finished. I, I understand. Please be seated. Sit down. to tell me that all these have been happening and I never knew about it? Now you know about it, my princess. What will you do to help yourself? What will you do to help us? What will you do to help the dying children? It will be my sister also lost hers. Not once, not twice. Is this how we continue getting married and losing our kids? This is this how? Personally, I am afraid. I'm so afraid because something is definitely wrong somewhere. We are the next set of young girls that suitors will be coming for. Hey? And as we speak, do you know the entire community are having rumors about us? And about our married sisters on how they eat their female children on birth. This is really an issue. It is. Whoever brought this idea to you did a very wonderful thing. I mean, I'm now seeing the truth in all you have said. The way I lost my child is still very, very strange to me. I, I still can't believe it. At first, I thought it was an act of the courts. It is not, my princess. Please. Why don't you tell your father to assemble all his cabinets and put an end to this termite that is eating us? You have said it all. I'm, I am now relieved. The, the king is not in. But as soon as he returns, I will bring this to his notice. I will. It's an assurance. I mean, I can't be any happier. I'm really, really happy with what you have done. I'm really happy, my sisters. Come, Wando. Thank you. Dima. Princess. Akuchi. 
Mama. I can't do it, Thank you. Hey, Goldie. Thank you so much. I will send you to the king. All right. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Who doesn't want them? Who doesn't want them? Who doesn't want them? If I remain about you, walk out to him and want your boy, walk with the normal, just leave the poor man. Who doesn't allow the other? If we are wounded, I was in need to walk up here. Oh, look, I know, man. If we are wounded. What you seek is huge and cannot be seen. Akataka, you are one of the greatest Dibia in this community. Yes. And that is why we came to see you. If you fold our hands, this thing will stop. Akataka, please look deep into this and tell us what to do. Our children are dying. Yes, Akataka. I have personally buried two of my female newborn. We can't continue like this. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! The problem lies with your wives. Nothing you both can do. Hmm. The gods are already warning me to stay clear from this matter. This is huge and will continue. Akataka, are, are you saying that there is nothing we can possibly do about this? Tell your wives to go and sort out that which is hanging on their necks. Okay, um, Akataka, Diko, does this have anything to do with water spirit? Amakangere <laughs> One thousand and ten dubliya zasa hizaga dubliya mbuta. Ama kenge re re re. Ama kenge re re re. Ama kenge re re re. Wau uta bara mani we wau le. Tufa bata re 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 re. Re 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 bara mara kwezo kutu fa ba yam. That I cannot answer. I'm done with both of you. But I must warn you. Do not go further on this matter. Else <laughs> the death that took the life of a child can as well take the life of an adult. Um Iwariva. Akataka, thank you. Ah, the eyes of sea is a burning fire. Oh, you no, man. Oh, you no, man. Oh, you no, man. Oh, The eyes of sea is a burning fire. And refuses to turn. Let such eyes be consumed by the burning fire. <laughs> hey. Akataka said that the death that can kill a child can also kill an adult. Which means we are no longer safe. If I should understand what he meant, he meant that we should send our wives out of the house. To avoid them bringing death to us. Because we don't know what is hanging on their neck. At all! That is another thing that is hitting my head. What could be hanging on their neck? See, as soon as I get home, mm. my wife will leave my house. Okay. Immediately! Okay. We don't want to die. Look at women everywhere. Why should I live with someone who has a spirit hanging on her neck? Hey, hey, hey. Ah! Listen, learn to say things the way they are. 
Akataka did not mention spirits. And as for sending our wives home, he did not say so. Udoka, eh? will you tell me how to live in my house? No, no, no. Will you tell me how to live my life? Is my wife your wife? But, uh, no, 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 no. That is what got your wife. That is not what Akataka said. I have told you what I will do. And that is it. My, have, you, have, have you turned to my advisor? What, 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 what kind of a man are you? I have told you how I want it. And that is all. Don't advise me. Nah, Yara. Hey, but you must not send more. Don't home. advise me, my friend. They are our wives. So you want us to start exchanging words? Are you ready? I'm telling you what, 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 what will be better for both of us. You are, you are, you are, you are saying another thing. Send your wife home. Why I send mine? I cannot send my wife home. Nala. I cannot. Why are you so stubborn? Huh? You don't even say bah, and you are behaving like it, bah. You don't even know the meaning of your name, eh, bah. That is desert. And you are behaving like one. What are you doing? Go in there, pack everything that belongs to you and leave my compound. The evil that is hanging around your neck will kill you alone. Evil woman! Is that how you seized my, my food? I can't take this anymore! I can't take this anymore in this house! <laughs> He can come, let's go. No. You will not go with him. You will go alone. Don't take my grandson with you. For the evil. The death in Amuda kills him. Anu Yekpa. You have the heart to seize my food. You call me. An evil woman for Abuja. The gods are watching. Let the gods watch. Go there, pack your things, and leave my compound. Everything around Abuja are evil. Then let me go with my son. He is evil too. Says his mother's place is Abuja. Don't look for trouble. Since you were married. Into this family, I have never quarrelled with you, but I've seen the evil in your womb that it's shaping up. Your husband said, "Leave to the needful." It's getting late. Go and pack your things and leave. Evil woman. <laughs> hey! Go and sit down, my friend.
Why are you guys crying? <coughs> we heard you lost your child. Now it's obvious that you just left your husband's house. Look at your clothes. All our married sisters are coming back from their husband's house. And he's bringing tears to our eyes. Please, dry your tears, my sisters. I'm happy I have a son who is alive. And he must surely come to look for his mother. His father asked me to leave. And called me a evil woman for my mother. <laughs> Stop crying. What do you expect us to do if you cry? I'm not crying. We're not evil. I the women are the best in the world. Yes. The cosmos surely see us through. Um, I was about sending for you. I'm here already. Though for something very drastic, which uh, I would like both of us to put heads together to tackle. And uh, which is? My daughter, who was married to Anosier's family in Umcheke community, came back to my house with bruises all over her body. As a result of the beating she got from her husband. That is why I'm here. Uh, what did she do? She lost her baby. Uh, obviously the same reason I was about sending for you. My daughter also came back. She lost her baby too. And from the information I gathered, married women from our village are facing similar problems so i don't think it is only my daughter and the yours are involved in it that means something is wrong somewhere obviously something is wrong and i'll be sending for the whole community to gather so that we will discuss about it uh, i don't accept uh, this your idea of sending for the community it was our own village that is, this issue was affected. Uh, so, so sending for the whole entire community, I don't think it is necessary. Igwe. I see with you. Mm -hmm. I see with you. Um, uh, Dad. Yes, Your Majesty. Um, go and call Ishi and Wafo. and the Hedema. Tell them to leave whatever they are doing and come to the palace immediately. Yes, Majesty. Ah, we will definitely sort it out. <laughs> There's problem. Mm -hmm. This issue is not ordinary. It's not. It's not ordinary. Anything that is capable of taking human blood is not something that we'll just sit down and watch. Yes, mother. Any community, village, or even family with no female will get no procreation. Women are the creators of procreation. That is why you have to force father to look into this issue. It's very important. Mother, as we speak now, all the young maidens of this kingdom are afraid. They are afraid of everything. They are afraid of the future. They are afraid of getting married. Please. Mother, we have to do something about this. We have to. Why did we give birth to some of these young girls we are talking about? And they survived it. Why? Some of these girls we are talking about, they all grew up from here. Yes. Why would they wait for them to get married? Start bearing children? Before they kill the kids? That is where you come in, mother. You are a woman. 
Assemble all the women. Talk about it. Within yourselves. Who knows? Something good might come out of it. I mean, someone might know something about it. Why are you doing this to yourself? What is all this? That you lost a child and came back to your own father's house is what you have allowed to give you worries? You're not the only one in this village and you know it. Wago is back. Princess Shugo lost her very first child. But she did not kill herself. Ebube, Unduka's wife. Lost two in a stretch. Tadima, your friend, is still in tears because she lost three of her children. Oh, are we talking about Ife Sinachi and Nkema Konam? They both lost their children. Just this morning, I heard Chungwogo lost her beautiful twins. Two beautiful girls. All these are your mates, but they have not killed themselves. So tell me why you are doing this to yourself, Adamma. Ekedima, stop talking to her like that. We don't know how it breaks the heart to carry a pregnancy for nine good months and lose it. Ada, whatever problem that must have come with this loss, do not allow me to worry you. All this shall pass away. When will it pass? How can something we know nothing about begin to hurt us? Look at us. Innocent maidens. Innocent maidens that got married at their prime. Just losing babies. What is the future of our girls? What did we do? What crime did we hope? How did you offend the gods? Ada, is that why you are misstaving yourself? Ada, since you came to this house, you barely eat. Your child has been buried and won't come back. Can you please put it behind you? Let's watch and see how all this will end, Ada. Arabico, you know I don't like seeing you like this. Miko, try and eat something, please. Adama, please don't do this to yourself, please. I don't want to eat. Adama, please. Adama, please. Let your best to drink coffee. What did you do to the gods? What is happening here? <laughs> Adam, why are you just wasting your tears? Why are you wasting your tears? What happened? Why are the gods punishing us? What have we done? Why are we losing our babies? What offense did we commit? Adama, it's okay, it's okay. Something terrible has befallen us. Who shall save us from this doom? <laughs> Adama, Adama, please. You have to eat something. Please. Please. Adama, take it. Adama, Adama, please. Now, Adama, please. Adama, stop doing this to yourself now. Be calm, be calm. Adama, please. Please eat something. Adama, be calm. Because you are so big, 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 big
or do we summon our daughters to find out? Igwe, I will suggest we call on our daughters and ask them some questions. Women vary with mystical powers. Some might be water spirits, some Obanje. Who the father or the mother did not carry out the purification of Obanji as a child? We must ask questions before concluding on the next step. I don't think uh, that in this entire village or our community, no one is left in the tradition of Obanji or trying to break it up. This is the first uh, tradition we carry out on our girl child. As for water spirit, I you hear them uh, no boss. I don't know about it. My daughter has no link of that. We do not know what is called water spirit. In this village, do we even have water around us? No! Our children trek far to get water that gushes out of stones. So where do we get water spirit from? Where? Uh, Igwe, there is no need inviting them. Instead, let's invite our own mother and seek their opinion. You see? What is happening in this village has never happened before. It is our present generation that we are experiencing it. So let's invite our own mother. But before we do that, we have the eye of the gods. Mm -hmm. Is he aware of what is happening? If not, let's call him to start making consultation with the girls yes. before we know what to do. Yes. <coughs> Igwe. You are being Because we cannot fold our arms and allow our grandchildren to die at childbirth. For the eye of the Find a solution. Uh, I have spoken with my cabinets, and we all have agreed to resolve this. So, my daughter, I want to assure you that all will be taken care of. I want to send for your husband to find out why he has not cared to see me since you left his house. Your Highness, please, let us avoid this issue. If they do not want to see us, let it be. My daughter here lost a child and the family started saying lots of things. Just that we didn't want to tell you about it. Oh, so it has gotten to the extent of hiding things from me in this palace. No, father. It's between my husband and I. Lots of rumors have been going around about us. I mean, we, the women of this kingdom, to the extent that we are being called child eaters, that we devour our children spiritually before they are being born. It's terrible, Father. It is. This is a serious issue. Lies. Lies upon lies.
Ebube, listen to me. I have made every arrangement to get a new wife. So if you wish to remain here, then you build yourself a new home. I don't want anything that will bring problem in this house. The greatest respect I will give you is what I just did by giving you this information. If that's your wish, go ahead. But as for me living this very hot, I don't think it's possible. Are you challenging me in my own house? No. How can I challenge you in your own house? All I'm saying is, please, we should be patient. Especially now that things are going this way. Taking another wife, it's not the best option. Mm. Oh, tell me. Tell me what the best option is. Yes. Let's wait on the gods. <laughs> look at you. Just take a good look at yourself. Do you know how much Ipa and I spent to see Akataka? No, you don't. The gods has turned their back on all of you from Amuda. I told you. I told you that danger is hanging around your neck. Have you bothered to find out what the danger is? Like I said, I don't want to remove you from this house. But I must get a new wife. A new wife that will give me children. Not the one that excuses at each birth. Excuse me. My husband! Majesty, I greet you. Ikuku, no. Cabinet members, I salute you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Ikuku, something greater than termite has entered the termite's hole. Ikuku, our eyes are paining us. We could not see clearly, Kuku. Our young married daughters are losing their newborn babies. My own daughter, inclusive. We could want to find out why. Why? Why is it happening to us, Kuku? Where is your daughter? She is inside. I wish to see her. Dad, Igwe, bring you. Uh, Eye of the gods. The most annoying aspect of this is that their husbands have started sending them back to their various homes. As I speak to you now, my own daughter Dama and some others are back. Princess, step forward. Step into this circle. Turn towards me. May I see you first?
Your Majesty, there is a problem. I see calamity. Mm. I see doom. Mm. Our women, married and single, they have a spell on them. Mm. I shall return to commune with the gods. But I must warn. Let all the women, married and single, desist from eating meat and okra soup. For now, I beg to take my leave. You must have casted a spell on our children. Onoduko, I don't want you to say anything on this issue. Are you not the one who, who was busy suggesting we should go and check water spirit or banjo spirit? Hear it! Shut up your mouth! If you don't have any reasonable thing to say, I only made a suggestion. Eh? And that same thing I am saying is that I don't want you to commit blunder again and call it suggestion. Better look elsewhere for that your water spirit and have it in your mind. Yedi, you're a fool. Me, fool. Have you ever made any good suggestion in this palace before? Uh, no, enough. Have you ever? Uh, 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 if not because of you, I would have gone out of here because I am allergic to idiots. Go out! Hey! hey go out! I don't blame you. I only blame your father. Who got you to a woman selling for me at here? I am still tracing your roots. Hey! You are a descendant of that Obanje yourself. Hey! Look at you, you quarrel like it. Like children, we are here to solve a calamity that crept into our household. I need to you to discuss about that. You are quarreling. I'm ashamed. Let's wait and see the outcome of this. Please. <laughs> Wipe your tears, especially now that the gods are making a search on why women of Amuda lose their children at childbirth. Not one, not twice, but I also lost the third child. I'm in my father's house than in a marriage that is filled with so much pain and sorrow. <laughs> Come closer. Let me see your stomach. My, my name is Tadema. Tadema. Oh, see, Tadema. You may now go. Don't tell anyone that you met with me. Dry your tears. There is hope. My Nango. Thank you very much. <laughs>
my princess. Tadima just came back to this village for the same issue. And she has lost three kids. I don't think there's any hope of me getting married. What are you saying? You mean Tadima left her husband's house too? Yes, my princess. I saw her too. I don't know if your majesty, our king, has done anything in regards to this. He's doing something about it. He sent for Ikuku, the chief priest. He came before the elders. Mwando, your father was also there. The chief priest did some things and left. Hopefully, the journey to find out exactly what is wrong in this village has just begun. Thank you very much, my princess. That's why we rallied around you. Because we know you'll be of great help to the maidens in this kingdom. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Do you suddenly remember your mother? If you're hungry, tell me I'll give you food. Are you hungry? Mm. You want to see your mother? Ipa! Ipa! Uh, mama! Biko, bia, 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 bia. Your son is demanding for his mother. And I'm surprised he's asking me that. I don't think anything is wrong for him to ask of his mother. He came. Don't worry, I will take you to where your mother is. Hmm? That should be in the next two market days. Does he know what two market days is? Besides, I don't want any stories at all. Let him remain here. Mama, why? Amuda is a no-go area, as far as I'm concerned. I don't want any stories. Let this boy remain here. He is my grandson and does not belong to Amuda people. Biko. Hmm. Again. Go tell his are angry with our mother village your majesty are you aware that in the entire community of Ibafo it is only in Amoda village that this calamity has befallen in my capacity as the chief priest of Amoda village your majesty I demand that you assemble all the cabinet members tomorrow morning I have a message from the gods you said the gods are not happy with our people. 
Yes, Your Majesty. And if nothing is done as soon as possible, taking of human lives may be an option for the gods. Have they not been taking lives? Have they? Which other life will be more important than the lives of our grandchildren? Yugo Golo, the gods have spoken. Why is this not happening in other villages? I have gone to ask and I found out that it is only here that our grandchildren are dying. Taking off lives as an option. Is this not a harvest of wolves when all our grandchildren are already in the grave? Alas! I will suggest we keep our fingers crossed and wait till tomorrow when he, when he will come and tell us exactly where we have offended the girls. Father, Ikuku was here earlier today. I heard he said something about calamity. In fact, I heard him. Father, please. What is the solution? Now listen. You have no right to eavesdrop when a discussion is going on between the king and his cabinet. Let this be the first and the last time I warn you on this. Don't blame her, your majesty. Was there any other issue aside from how to set them free from this child's bed? Stay away from any discussion coming from the children. When it's time for women, we shall invite you. But as of now, stay away. Stay away. Father. Have I said anything wrong? No, no, it's okay. Your Majesty, our deity I'm going to reveal to me that something happened here right before you all, including you, Our Majesty, and it was neglected. A curse was laid upon Amuda that our daughter's newborn, especially their girl children, will continue to die. This is strange. Before our eyes. Hi. This is a message from the gods. We, we do not understand what the gods uh, are talking about. Yes, yes. Does it mean the gods is lying against us? No. The gods can't be lying against us. I think something is really wrong somewhere. A curse laid upon our daughters. The gods also provide a solution. Uh, yes. The gods reveal that three maidens, young maidens, and the three women should be selected to journey to Eku Omumu, the gods of fertility. There, they will meet with the priestess. On their way, they shall have a mother hen each. The priestess will tell them what brought this very calamity and what to do. Thank the gods that there is solution at the end, your majesty. The gods also reveal that your daughter will lead this very journey. I shall be with them before their departure. I beg to take my leave now.
Show the way. So, how do we select those that will go? Uh, since he said uh, he will be here before the movement, all I suggest is for us to call the town crier to make announcements that we make all the maidens to be here. Uh, I don't think that uh, sending the town crier will be the best. It will cause more commotion that we already have in this village. I'm not saying that they should not be aware, but anything that will make the tension to be more high, let us remove it now. So what are you suggesting? Um, I suggest the princess should talk to few women, since not all of them are needed for this journey. That is my own candid suggestion. We must carry all of them along hmm. to avoid women and their problems. Hmm. Uh, Igwe, we all are here when uh, Ikuku mentioned that your daughter will lead this mission. I would know your daughter, before she got married, she was friendly with almost all the women in this village. In fact, she used to come to my house to spend some time with my daughter. Wado. Even though they are not of the same uh, age mate. You see, I will suggest you call your daughter. Let her know the mission before her. Then give her the free hand to select those that will go with her on this mission. That is my own suggestion. Uh, in that case, we should take this very first step. I will tell her the message is from the gods. Exactly. So, she will now select those that will go with her. I think I've spoken the mind of everybody. Yes, you, you have. You have. You have. You have. You have. You have. Who must have laid this curse on us? A cause that takes the lives of our innocent children? A cause that will make us taken, carry it for nine months, and still take away the breath from the child when giving birth to? Whoever that laid this curse on us must be very wicked. The gods have spoken. That is why I sent for you. We must go and see the priestess of Ekwomomo, the goddess of birth. They say three are married and three married women. We must provide a mother hen. Who and who shall go with us? Tadema is in this village now. We shall also see Adane. And for the three unmarried women, we will look for the brave ones. Uh, I need to come with the mother hen too. All of us. Oh, this is serious. Very serious. As the poor man is waiting for your arrival. You, maidens of our land, shall depart the poor man. On your way, Goli, you must not utter any word. Upon your arrival at the poor man, these hands in your hands, you shall drop them at the shrine of your God and listen attentively. We shall be waiting for your arrival. You may now go. 
Mama, you should have allowed me to go with them. At least I will know exactly what will happen there. No. My two children will not just go like that. I know why I allowed a Kedima to go with them. Spending two hands will be too costly for me. Mama, so because of ordinary hands? Ha! Mama, so you made me withdraw because of ordinary hands? No, my daughter. But sometimes, you don't sacrifice all that you have. If you will understand what I mean, Eko Omomo is a goddess of fire. Sometimes, it takes humans. But my daughter, let's wait for them to return. Hmm? Let's wait for them. Huh. So, it was Eko Omomo that laid the curse in us. Hey, Bano, it's not a Kwomu. So why are they now going to priestess of a Kwomu? It was an instruction from the gods. You are very much aware that a Kwomu is the goddess of progression. Yes, since our sister's children are dying, they have gone to a Kwomu to ask. Come on, every minister, Bano, So where exactly did this case come from? I eh? don't know, my sister. Until they are back, everyone is in shock. The girls help us. I see. The deity that gives some text. Sit down. My children, take this cola nut, chew it, all of you, rub the alligator pepper on your stomach and throw it away.
I'm other women. Are today suffering not because they committed any crime. No! But because your fathers never bothered. And a little girl of 12 years died a painful death. Udogadi! Udogadi lost her father when she was just three years old. Her father went to tap one wine and fell down from the palm tree and he died. Her mother too later died when she was six years old. She lived on and was fending for herself. Nobody cared for her. No one cared to know how that little child was surviving. Her father's brothers all died at birth. It was only Udoga, this father, that survived. That little orphan suffered. Udoga, they suffered. Nobody was there to help her. She suffered. She goes to the farm all alone. She does virtually everything. Though she never asks anyone for help. She was hoping that one day the villagers will come for her, for her help. None of you were born at that time. But your fathers were all of age and knows of Dogadi and her family. One day she was ready to go to farm. was hungry and was set to go to farm to know at least if she can have something to eat but something happened something terrible happened to her
Don't kill me. I'm alone in this world. I was only going to my father's home to take something I can eat. Brother, please, please don't kill me. Mm -mm. They're not going to hurt you, okay? Get up! It's <laughs> These warriors came from Ameba. A very far community. They were looking for heads to use in burying their king's mother. But unfortunately, Udoga died before they could reach home. Hmm. Out of hunger and starvation. This one is bad luck. What do you mean by that? She's dead. So what do we do? Bring her, let's go. But before she died, she laid a curse on Amota village. She said because no one ever looked for her. No one ever cared to know how she was faring. She said that Amota people do not value their girl child. She laid this curse not on the entire community but upon her own village that nobody will ever give birth to a girl child in our mother <sighs> both the ones at home and the married ones and that is why every girl child born in our mother dies <laughs> And today, some men of Amoda farmed in her father's land without even asking about that singular seed from that family. The warriors finally buried her on top of Igirigi Mountain, where no one has ever crossed till date. This is so sad, so terrible. How could our fathers be this less concerned? But my princess, that is not the right word to say. The people were wicked to have allowed the little girl to suffer and die. And none of them ever Asked or looked for her. Sadly, she died in the hands of her killers. <sighs> Not right. I got the one you come. Please, what can we do to save the lives of our born children? 
Please. Many of you? us are out of our husbands' houses. They have called us names and... Go home. Tell your fathers all that I said. The calamity will continue if Udoga, this body, is not found and brought back to Amoda. Whatever is left of her remains must be brought back home. Not by your fathers. Because her spirit does not want to have anything to do with her brothers that abandoned her. But by you, young women of Amoda, not the unmarried, but some of you that have lost your girl child. This is the directives from Opuamomo. One last thing. The tradition of uprooting her obanje must first be done before the search for her body. Agadiwai, Ekwomomo, you are the seer that have been saving the women's folk. My grandmother, Wai Yudu, sang your praises till she died. Please. Let me appeal to the goddess to allow our elder sisters rest. Why we, the younger ones with more strength, embark on that journey? Please. They have lost their babies. And some of them are still mourning. Biko. No one says more than the gods. The God sees more than everyone. Ikuku will complete the remaining works of the gods. Go home and do not say one more thing. You may all leave. <laughs> Just too much. How can we go and suffer for this? Such things are meant for men and not for women. The old woman has asked us to go and look for the body of her fallen sister. We shouldn't stand here and start arguing. Please. A.K. Dimma was brave enough to make an appeal for all of us to go. And we all heard what the woman said. In as much as this has fallen into our laps. Honestly, our fathers did not try at all. They didn't. How could they have allowed that little girl to suffer and die like that? No matter what, we must save our unborn children. We must cleanse the land of our mother. Because has started showing us mercy by revealing this to us. We should all go home first, okay? We get your good job. Then, Nana, you may try to be. Man, oh, big, you may be raised. Oh, 
I remember Wokoye who gave birth to Dokade. That was during the reign of my father. We were young men then. But I thought she was taken away by her mother's people. I never knew Dogadi was dead. Exactly. At a point, I and Mwafo went to her father's hut to search for her. At least for some reasonable days. We couldn't find her. Then we gave up. The mistake has been made. We all are guilty of this nonchalant attitude. Now, what is the way forward? The way forward you asked? The way forward is that none of you, our fathers, could take care of an only seed. An only seed left in your care. You couldn't. You allowed our sister to die in pain. Who knows what she might have gone through? Who knows? Imagine Udogadi was abandoned in her age. You don't know. You don't know the pains of bearing a child. After nine months of pregnancy and finally losing it. You don't know. Take a good look at us. Take a very good look at us. We are hurting. Ours is finished. All because of this. All because of this issue. She was fending for herself. Yet, nobody gets to know if she was alive or dead. She was going to the farm at her age to look for food. And on that faithful day, on that faithful day, she met our untimely death. <laughs> And we are here, we are here suffering for something we do not know. Igwe, we all have been given a task to go and bring back her body and bury her. We have been given a task to go to Igrigi Mountain. A big task to go to Igrigi Mountain and dig up whatever we see in her grave. And it must be brought back here and buried in her father's compound. <clears throat> Igrigi Mountain. How come she was taken to such a far and dangerous place? Must we risk the lives of our young women because of the body of a little child that must have decayed? Father, we must save our unborn children. We must. We must set free the lives of young maidens who are not sure of their marital lives. You have to get your men ready for their help. Ekwa Momo, the goddess of birth, will be with us. You will have to send for Ikuku. For Agadiwai said that he shall do the rest. My sisters, we have to go home and get prepared. <laughs> Man, oh, big, you
been thinking about this. And nothing seems to come out of it. How do you want me to believe that a girl who was born some years ago that lost her parent and was even abandoned until she was killed? <laughs> see, 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 let me tell you. The story is not clear. How do you mean, Nikoka? I still don't understand you. I think maybe the parents might have committed something. Yes. How can you tell me that a girl who was barely 12 years and was abandoned until some idiot caught and killed her? Ibuka, if I'm to say, our fathers didn't try at all. They should have taken care of the girl. Even when some said uh, they thought she ran to her mother's place. What stopped them from getting some of the mona to go and ask of her? Mona more than tomorrow round. They, they didn't try at all. Your oh, wickedness. Who are they to ask? Didn't you get what I'm saying? Uh, maybe uh, anybody from her mother's uh, relatives. Is that not the worst? The little girl's mother was an only child of the parent. She even lost her parents before Uduga this father married her. So tell me, who are they to ask? I'm happy the girls have revealed this to us. If not, we should have been in the dark till this moment. Uh, meanwhile, when will the woman be going for the task? Asking, I'm asking you. You're asking me? Yes. Do I look like the eye of the gods? Do I know? Do I look like a woman? Um, Ibuka, I don't have all that time for you now. Mm -hmm. eh? You, you have to are understand done. the sense of the spirit. I'll be going. <laughs> yes, you don't need to go. No, you cannot do that kind of thing. You cannot go to risk your life for nothing. You are my only child. The only thing I have. So is Udogade. So is Udogade the only daughter. The only seed of her parents. I got the one I already said it. She said it is going to be a very dangerous journey. But mother, we have to take this risk. We have to save our young men and women from this problem. We have to. You, you, please, just listen to me. You are the princess of this entire kingdom. Yes, you have your prestige. Please. Listen to your mother. You know, girl? Okay, listen. Just give me time. Let me discuss it with your father. Oh? Mother, mm -hmm. the day I got married was the day I ceased to be the princess of this kingdom. Mother, I chose my path. I did not marry into another royalty. You have to allow me. I have to save my sisters from this doom. I have to. Think about what I just told you. You cannot risk your life, your own life. No, let others go. Let them go. Yes, after all, royalty did not kill the child. Mm. Think about it. Majesty, Shugo will not be part of that movement. She's not the one that killed the so-called little girl. I wonder why you and your cabinet member are dragging her to it. Why are you self-centered woman? Why? Is Shugo the only young maiden that went to see the chief priestess? No, tell me. Or are you implying that others don't have homes? They are children of nobody. Oh, no. Listen, if the God says Chugo is the person that will lead, there is nothing you can do to stop it. I mean, there is nothing we can do about it. I know I cannot do anything, but you are the king. Yes, you have the final say. You have the authority to say that Chugo will not go and so shall it be. These women you are talking about, they have brothers, they have sisters. But Chugo is the only one I have. My only child. 
The Igrigi forest that, that is located on top of the, the mountain is not safe. She will not be part of that movement and that is final. The Ekwomo priestess said you know the remaining things to do. Yes, Your Majesty. Preparation for the journey will start immediately. Are you then assuring me that they will come back alive with the remains of the little people? Your Majesty, to be candid, Igrigi is a dreaded place. Their mission is under probability. They may return alive, or they may not. Your Majesty, if the gods require human sacrifice to salvage our village, who are we to object? Absolutely nothing. And your daughter, our princess, has been chosen to lead this mission. Oh, well, let them prepare her. So be it. I shall be on my way. Let me consult with the gods further to know those that will accompany our princess on this mission. I beg to take my leave. I am having feeling for those children. The gods should have sent our notes instead of me. Okay, you are right. The mayor would have been brave enough to face the forces from the forest. Well, I I just I don't know if any of them will come back alive. May the gods be praised. It pained me that after losing those kids at bed, their mothers now face the challenges. Serious. Hmm. Why do we all stand here and conclude that they will not come home alive? Are we the ghosts that are sending them to that? I will concur to what Onodugo said earlier. They should have sent men. But my question is this. Who and who are going for this? Because I don't have any married daughter. Who will be part of it? Uh, yes, we know that. Very soon we know. Yes, I would just only advise that uh, we should calm down and uh, stop lamenting about this journey. The girls might bring them back alive. <laughs> I pray so. Wafo, stop amusing me. See, even if any of them is going to come back alive, maybe one or two, it is not easy for someone to go to that bush and that mountain and come back alive. You mean Ikuku told you that your daughter will lead others on this dangerous journey? Onodugo, will you shut up your mouth? Make sure you Why are you trying to discourage us from doing the right thing? What, what, what do you mean by dangerous journey? What is dangerous journey? No, but don't attack me. Is it not dangerous journey if I may ask? Should I be stunned for saying the truth? You deserve to be stunned. Don't get me angry personally with you. And if I get you angry, what will happen? You, you, I'm still tracing you on your route. Don't you, worry. You know where you come right? from? Take it, it don't worry. Now. Look ah. at you. Why are you behaving as if you are not from this village? Ask him. The king's daughter can lead them. After all, you don't know why she, she was chosen. She put there because I'm from this village. Don't worry. Don't worry.
Your Majesty, I greet you. Uh, Ikuku, you are welcome. Cabinet members, I salute you all. Uh, Ikuku, you are welcome. You are welcome. Um, Your Majesty, the gods have given out the names of those that will join your daughter, our princess, on this mission. How many of them? There are seven of them, including your daughter. Their names are Adam, Adam, Mwogo, Ebube, Nkemakonam, and Ifesinachi. Your Majesty, some of these women are not in our village presently. So messages should be carried out so that they can be in tune. That their presence is required three market days from now for preparation on this mission. Listen and listen attentively. We have come to the end of every arrangement for the journey to return the body of our sister, Udogade. The gods of our land have mentioned the people that will go for this task. Chugo, the princess. Tadima. Mwogo. Adamma. Ebube. Itemu Akolam. And Ife Sinachi. If you hear your sister's name or your daughter's name, pass this message across to wherever she's married to. That in the next three market days, she is needed. All of them must be prepared for this. Listen and listen attentively. We have come to the end of the arrangement for the people that will go and bring the body of our sister, Udoga Abe. The gods of our land have mentioned the names of those that will embark on this journey. Chugo, the princess. Tademma, Wogo. Adamma, Nkemakanam, Ifesinachi. If you hear the name of your sister or daughter, wherever she is married to, send message across that she is needed in three market days. They have to be prepared. Have you heard? I heard you. Can't about it though. I am I I I Wow. Uh, sister, you have to hurry up and come back home before the next three market days. Why? Hmm. We have found out what is killing our children. 
I went with the princess and some of our other sisters in the village. Sisters like Tadima and Mogo. We went to Okuo Omumbo Shrine where everything was revealed to us. <laughs> that, that is not what I should be telling you now. I came to inform you that you have been chosen by the gods to go for the grave search. A grave search? Yes, sister. A grave search. That is a very long story. You have to get ready. Because what I gathered is that the journey is a very good one. So you mean such a thing has been going on in Amoda? And you never bother to let your sister know? Sister, I didn't know you were going to be among the people called for the grief search. I didn't know about it. I was waiting for the right time to come. So I'll just come and tell you everything. Chima, sister, please, the right time is now. Let's just get done with this food so you can tell me everything. Just get done with the food. Done with. Yes, go, sister, go, I'm just... go now. Ah, and. So this has been going on in Amoda village. I suspected something when Dibia Kataka said something very deep. So, did you visit a Dibia for this? When something deep pursues a man, he needs something deep to defend himself. I never knew Dibia Kataka was meaning to say that someone was killed and a curse was laid. What? He didn't practically say the way we should understand it. I will go for the search. Yes. Hence the gods has chosen me to be among the women to go for it. I will. I learned it's a very dangerous movement, but I do not have a choice. We just have to put an end to this. I would advise you be very careful. Do not talk too much. The ghosts can be disturbed with noise and they can hurt humans. I mean your wife's younger sister. Came to, came to ask and told me. Hey, but your wife was also chosen among those that would go for the search. You people are making me to laugh like a drunk. This grave was dug like a donkey years ago. I know how old my wife is presently. And this girl we are talking about died years before my wife was born. How are they going to see the grave and start digging to see something they can come back with? That your little man can offer. They want to suffer this woman. Yes! The gods sent them on this. All we should do is to make sacrifices on their behalf so that they will come back in peace. If my wife and your wife I really involved in this. We must have to go and look for other women to marry. Yes! I'm not sure they're coming back alive. Ndoka, this is a system to use them and cleanse the land. Hmm. Better go and stop your wife. Hmm. Better go and stop your wife. Because As we speak, my wife already left her mother with her younger sister, Chimu. Oh, she already left her mother? They will be leaving the next Eka Market day. The God chose them, not me. Ndoka, let us start planning on how to get married to other women. Because as we speak, they are dead. Hmm? I, even as we are sitting here now, they are dead. Igrivi yoko. Ezuo kare li ozu de na totu ongega. Agwe me kweni hoji wala agwo. 
Omoaze wari ekenko. Okwoke mmo na wo mmo na eri obala. Makani kenga dilile awanyanko. Eh? Ndiche. Asina wana ra bo se fife na nkete. Mwonwe ife na atua. Owe ife na atua. Every have no more if I am not to move and not to What a comment. Today is a remarkable day. Your destinies are in your hands. You are going to rewrite your destinies today. The seven of you shall sojourn to Gregory Forest. What is ahead of you is dreadful. Igrigi Forest is known because of its danger in sucking human blood. You must not waste time in Igrigi Forest. Go where the line is now. Makanaya kalakana kwa nili mbulo. When you get to Igrigi Forest, you look out for the grave of Udogade. The grave is old, but those that killed Udogade used stones to identify that grave. You must look out for those stones to help you identify that grave. Those of you with the hole to use the hole to dig the grave. Hmm. You shall all go in peace and return in peace, for I have done all the necessary sacrifices for the success of this mission. You may now leave. I don't know why my sister Ibubi was counted among us. I just have a feeling she will run back home anytime soon. How? I know my sister. She doesn't have courage at all. 
She fears a lot. She should have just stayed back and not go with them. Chima, you're not wiser than the gods that appointed her. Funny enough, I don't see her as such. I was seeing a brave woman who can do wonders out there. May the gods lead them safely and bring them back home with the spirit of Dugadi, which was left in Igribi forest for years. My sisters, if the gods do this for us, I would personally go to Agadi Wine with a she goat just to tell her thank you. I was having such in mind, but since you've said it, I'll do so with the hen. I still have my cock. Agadi Wine does not accept anything that is not female. Whatever you want to give to her must be a she, because the deity is a she. That is why the priestess is serving her. Yes, you're okay. right. Mm. Okay, in that case, I will go with my she goats. Yes, Chima. What is wrong with If you go with your she goat, which one will be breeding kids again? My friend, the gods will provide. I'm calling you Nduka Nduka Nduka. Huh? Oh. Hey, pa, hey, pa, hey, pa. I am I am seriously thinking we should go and see Akataka. And now our fate. We can you know, keep folding our hands and swallowing saliva each time we see beautiful women. Uh, we are men, we have blood going through our veins. Let's see him and know if our wives are coming back or not. Now this this is, is, is not funny. Seeing Akataka is spending money. Akataka is a very costly dibia. Instead of seeing Akataka, why don't we save that money and get married to another woman? Beautiful woman. Because I'm sure these women are gone. 
Look, at this is even better for you. It's a very great opportunity for you to go and select a very beautiful maiden. Are you hearing me? At least now that I, I, your wife, Yupopo, is dead, get married to another wife. See, stop calling my wife Hippopo. My wife is not Hippopotamus. <clears throat> Wait, Ibao. Are you aware that the princess of that community is with them? As a matter of fact, she's the leader. And so what? If she's the princess, is she above that? No, if the princess, can she die? I don't know why I don't take my words. Look, all of them will die. What am I even... In fact, they are dead. This is not the first time I'm saying it. Not the second, not even be the third. They have used them to cleanse the land of Amoda. That is their village. Then as Takataka. Hmm. I won't go to ask what I already know. Because he will tell you the same thing. They are dead. They are gone. So let us do the needful by going to the village to search for young, beautiful maiden that will suit us. So leave you to go and die. Look, let us. There are beautiful women everywhere. Fine girls, fresh girls. Let's forget all these ones. At least we will refresh ourselves. When you get a very young girl, you refresh yourself. No, Is my wife not young? Who is young? Hippopotamus, you say he's young. Huh? I told you when you went to marry that woman that you, she will turn to Hippopotamus. That she will turn to a very big man mountain. Look at what you have been carrying. Madrasi, let us go and get a, 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 a pretty girl. You are telling me that Hippopotamus. Yeah, I'm not done. I'm hungry. I saw it as Oh, very good. We can use it to eat the yam. Yes. <laughs> Is it done? Mm. Can test it. But one go. But one go. Who advised you to bring yam along? My younger sister. You know? She told me that she kept one yam in my bag and some oil. <laughs> I didn't even know to that to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obi Wanne. She knew her sister would be hungry. And she slipped in oil and yam for her. Like I knew I got my stick of fire with you. <laughs> my princess. Okay, fine. Chugo! I can still hear my name. Don't answer. Spirits have a way of calling someone, and it leads to death. We must leave here now. We must leave here now. We better leave. Now I'm putting ourselves in danger. Let us leave. No, no. This sounds like a human voice. I can, I can hear it. I can hear it. The spirits already know our names. We are in trouble. No. We are in serious trouble. No. We have to keep calm. Wait. Wait. It sounds like Ebube's voice. Could it be that she never left? Could it be? Adama, please come with me. Come with you, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going. Mama. You go with I'll go with you. Let's go. Hey. Ebube. My princess. Please bring her back. Your princess, Guinea. Bring all your kaitaji. To your princess. Bring all your. Let's eat here. Yes. You are not hungry, obviously. Let's eat. Are you still hearing the voice? No. The voice comes and goes. I have not heard it for now. But I believe it will come soon. It's strange. Please, let's go back. When a bad masquerade wants to flog a woman, it hides in the bush. 
Please, my thoughts even be able to be his voice for real. Please. No. I can feel it. The name. The name. Who is that? Hey, Bube. Bube. Hey, Bube, where are you? But hey, Bube, we are not seeing you. Where exactly are you? Please. Where exactly are you? Please come forward. I'm here, please. I'm trapped. aside and face our task. Uh, we are here for something very important. Uh, Where is my own young? Today is exactly four days these children left for this journey and we have not heard anything about them. Have they gotten to the Ikiriki mountain? What have they been eating? If they eventually get to the mountain, how would they now know the exact place Udogadi was buried? These are the things that have been bothering me. Mama, I am not bothered because the gods of our land know why they left the younger ones and chose Adama and others. The most important thing is their safety. Hey Mama, do you know I had a dream where most of them didn't come back? Yes. Though I, I don't want the dream to bother me. Dreams are realities. The gods show things that will happen through dreams. I hate your dreams because your dreams always turn to be exactly the way your dream is. Now tell me, who and who do you see that made it? I saw about three of them, but I couldn't see their faces. Huh. 
The gods, she please spare my daughter. The gods, she please spare my daughter. And kill others. No, Mama. The gods should please spare them all. Mama, we must all wait to see the outcome of this journey. authority to stop Chugo from going to that search. You did not listen. Yes. Mugwanu, you did not listen. Today is how many days? I'm not even sure if they've gone half. Men like you are not supposed to joke with their only sin. They will sleep your way. Woman, Chugo is married and does not belong here. Any child from Chugo is your grandchild. But does also not belong here. I think what you should be talking about now is to either get a new wife or shut up. What are you saying? You had me right. Why are you crying over someone that belongs to another? If I have a son, will I be listening to you? That this throne will soon leave this place does not bother you. Chugo's husband has not shown up ever since she left his house. You are not bothered. I think as a mother, 
You should be concerned. Uh, and you think that Chugo will go back to him? Because I did not tell you the rubbish that idiot said just because uh, Chugo lost her child. Chugo did not tell you that the husband pushed her and she sustained an injury. Oh no, Barogi. She did not tell you how bad the, the, the husband treated her. She is not happy with the husband. And let me tell you, the marriage might end up if she comes back alive. That is it. Nobody, nobody told me all this. Eh? Nobody told me all this. Eh? Nobody. Chugo knows your temperament. That's why she did not tell you. I'm a kiss here, we were. Only what's on you know, be kissing. Oh, one day, Why are you sitting here alone? Are you thinking about your wife? Huh? Hey, ma. I think I have to go and see her family. It's somehow that a woman you claim you love was counted among those that will liberate her village. And I've not gone to see her mother or her brothers, at least to show concern. Ndoka. Ndoka. Ibu me. Did they consult you when she was counted? I mean, did they inform you as a mark of respect for an in-law like you before she was sent? to that dangerous mission. Look, this is not bother me. And I don't want it to bother you. What I think you should be thinking of now is how to get a new wife. Ekma, please, stop giving such advice. As soon as we came back from Akataka Shrine, you ordered your wife to leave. She left and was counted among those that would go for that dangerous mission if I should borrow your word. Are you not supposed to go and see your in-laws? Wogo already gave you a son. And I'm here to have a living child. Let's just hope that after this journey everything will be fine. Let's wait on the gods. You can wait on the gods. Ndoka, you can wait on the gods. See, I have seen a very beautiful woman from Chekibo clan. And I want you to accompany me to go and see her parents. Whether this woman survive or not, it's not my business. Are you in or not? I am not. I am not in. We married two friends from the same village. You already have a son. Hey, but let's just wait for this journey to end. Let's just be patient. Let's not sit here and decide for the gods. I'm not in. I'm not going with you. Okay. You are not in. I am not in. You are not in. When I told you not to marry that Tefi, you refused. Uh, well, uh, already gave you a son. Hey, but my wife how is can, not Efi. How can Efi give you a son? Stop calling my wife Efi. How can Hippopo give you a son? She is not Hippopo. I was telling you that time. You tell me hey, you like them big. You like them big. Now you are complaining. You need a son. Let's go and get married to a young, beautiful woman. At least you can get one for my mom. Hey, but please, please, this will be the very first and last time you will stand before me and call my wife Efi or Hippopo.
I remember the last time you came with your friend. I told you that something is hanging on your wife's neck. That thing is what they went to remove. But I will not sit here to tell you if she will come back alive. Because the journey is a bloody one. Or have you seen anyone that went into the jungle and come back alive? Akataka, please. I, I want my wife to come back alive. What will I do? Ebris is a good woman. Yes, she has a good heart. I cannot wish her dead because we are losing our children and she left to be among those that will liberate her village. Please, Akataka, what do I do? I, I, I want her to come back alive. <laughs> As I speak with you, they are still on their journey. I don't know what will happen because the girls are not showing me anything ahead. It is only Agadi Wine that can save, but she won't. All I can see is blood hovering over that journey. But be courageous. Your wife may succeed. <laughs> It is not also bad if you go to see your in-laws. As you asked earlier, Makanasi, Ogomado, Bowanea. Thank you. Thank you, Akatasha. You may leave. Thank you. You may go. You may go. One them lie, one them lie. Where did you want it? Oh, 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 oh.
there are other people that will follow you to the girl's house. Even Doka says he's still waiting for his wife, who I'm sure will not come back. That's his own thing. Mama, hmm? why is my mother want to go and see her? Hey, Ipa. Ipa. Your mother followed some people to an evil forest. Until she comes back, that is when you see her. For now, Mama will be taking care of you. Do you hear that? Good. Hey, Ipa, can't I go and see her there? Can you imagine? You don't want to go to the evil forest? You came? You're asking me where is the evil forest? You want to come on? Why, 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 why we go inside? Go inside, my friend. Where's the evil forest? Can I go and see her? I'm going to take it. At this age, you know, you're in the evil forest. Mama? Um, I will call her uh, Chio Kike. You follow me and see my new wife and the father. Mm. Yes, at least we'll discuss the, the issue of. But um, what do they call it? List. Mm. Okay. Mm. Have you discussed with the girl? And she agreed. If, if she didn't agree, why I be here telling you that I will go and go? She can't agree the fool. Oh, cut off mouth, man. And I even explained to her about my former wife, and I told her that I have a son. Makara, mama. Mama, I explained everything to her. And she agreed. Mm. Yes, she agreed the fool. Yes, because Mama, you know me now. I'm a very open person. I want I I I I I, I say it where it is. So that tomorrow she, she won't come here and be uh, telling me, you didn't tell me you have a former wife. You didn't tell me this. Just like Mazi Marife. And the, the, the second wife you got from uh, from uh, from uh, Ogono. Every you no, know, every day they will be calling. You didn't tell me you have twenty children. You didn't tell me you have this. I don't, I don't want such a thing. That is why I am I'm, I'm very open. Uh -huh. I explained everything to her. Simple. Uh -huh. That is good now. So that she cannot come and say she did not know. Uncle Mama, Mama, can you imagine my son keep telling me that she wants to go to the forest? I want to come one. Holy boy, Ha! Hey! Sisters, this is Igiwigi Forest. We are very close to it. All we have to do now is to breeze up, put more effort, get into that forest, find the grave, and leave. Please. I keep asking myself. I keep asking myself this question. How do we know where our sister was buried? When we say Zanunu, how do we know? Honestly, I see this our journey ending in pain. It's you. Shut up! Shut up! Which journey are you seeing to be in vain? Huh? It's your own journey that will be in vain, not ours. Are you okay? Padema. Why should you open your mouth and ask more about them to shut up? Why? Adamma, why won't I ask you to shut up when you are here putting all our effort to be negative? Let me tell you this. 
if you don't have anything positive to contribute to this very journey, then see your lips. What is wrong with you? Are you aware that I am not your mate? Are you aware that I got married before you? Are you equally aware that I got pregnant and felt the pain of childbirth before you? And you stood here Open your stupid mouth, your miserable mouth, to ask Muabadama to shut up. Well, we shall see. Thank you. We okay. shall see too. Adema. No, no, no. Very good. Wonderful performance. I want to understand the meaning of this nonsense. This rubbish now, I want to understand it. Yeah. Both of you want us to leave what we came here for. The issue is that Mumabu won't go. I do not have anything to say to both of you. I don't. Adamma. Tadema. All I can say is that you both should not forget why we are here. You should remember that we are all fighting the same cause. Exactly. We are tied with one cord. Please let us proceed in this journey with one spirit, like we've always been. Please! We are all sisters. When someone from Amuda dies, we all come from our various husbands' houses and assemble in the same room as Umada. Why didn't the entire community make selection from every village? Why didn't Agadimwa Ekwomumu? call on other women from the community to go for this. But us, sisters, same blood. We grew up together, fetched water together, went for firewood together. And mind you, we never selected age brackets. So why don't we put bitterness aside? Let's put bitterness aside and move on. Yes. Tikun. Tadima should tender an apology to Adama. You just do not insult your, your, your senior because she was chosen to go on the same task with us. Adama, please, forgive her. Ada? I'm sorry. I, I didn't see it as an insult. You are my sister. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. Please. Go. Forgive her, forgive her. 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 Forgive 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 This is exactly what Ebube has been looking for. And she has seen it. Ofugonia Gita, she has seen it. I don't know why all of them in their family are always proving stubborn. Why? Why? Just look at how we just lost Ebube and Nkem. Hey! Ofugonia Gita, hey! Ofugonia Gita, hey! 
Why are your tears very close to your eyelids? Why? Why are you crying? It seems in your previous life you had a heart of stone. And now you have a very soft heart. Why are you crying for them? Ebubi and Nkem do not deserve your tears. They do not. They have chosen their path. Let them go. They have gotten what they wanted. You don't need to cry. Jigo, take it easy. We are talking about our sisters here. And don't forget that Nkem and Ife Sinachi are cousins. And so? Eh? I want them to stay away from those little spirits that was claiming to be Dogadi. But they wouldn't listen to me. They wouldn't just listen. I'm sure by now they must have turned into their spiritual bushmeats. <laughs> me? I won't cry. I refuse to cry. <laughs> hey! I'm proud of this journey. Mm. I can't go to Oh my gosh. Help me. Hey! You have to continue. <laughs> mm. You don't understand us. People don't come again. Hi! Stand up. Give me go, go. I am beginning to lose hope in this women's return. But I had a terrible dream last night. A very terrible one. I dreamt where this women faced a lot of challenges. And it was just one person. One person that returned. Okay. So I don't think I, I, I've lost hope. And he goes, look at and the girls at your senses are coming back. How? When I was telling you that their survivor is not sure, you were doubting me. Better start negotiating for a new wife. Yes. <sighs> okay. What about the new wife? No, 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 no. I don't want to talk about that girl. Eh? Please! What, what happened? How? Imagine that girl. That I am expired. Because gonna. She said that I am expired. She called me an expired human being. She said she needs a more younger and active person. Yes! I, I don't understand. I am telling you. That is what she told me to my face. She said you were inspired. Look at these girls say so many things. Uh, that I have gotten a son. That my marriage has, has been for, for years. That look at my hair, white everywhere. Look at my afono, white everywhere. That she, you, you need to see the shape of her mouth. Are you serious? You, see, you need to see the idiot standing before a back. Opening her mouth and saying so many things. Yeah. This is very serious, so look at look at my old. No, no, no. Look at me. Am I not a vibrant young man? Look at let her go. Am I a more fresh girl? Hmm. Hey, pal. You know you are my friend. And I should advise you on the right thing to do. If you must remarry, marry a woman that is within your age bracket. Rather than going for these small, small ones that are calling you. Who are you to advise me? Huh? Is it my fault that you married that buffalo? Was I the one that advised you to marry that that that? Why are you advising me? Yes! You call my wife a buffalo? Your wife is a far! My wife? A cow? Yes! Wait. Look at the way you are exalting yourself. Small, small girls in this village calling you an expired man. No wonder they said you expired. I can see it. But you no, know I'm not expired. You are expired. No, 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 no. no. Ipa, I'm you are expired. Listen to me, if you don't know, anytime you start seeing white hairs on your head and on your jaw, just know that expiration is at the corner. And look at it, all over your face. It is wisdom. It is, it is, it is known as wisdom. Wisdom? Yes. This, this is, is this is wisdom. Expiration. 
If you don't know inspired you don't know. man. That is what you are. Ikuku, we invited you here to find out the fate of our daughters. Have they got into the Igrigi forest? If not, are they still alive? And when are they coming back? We want to find out, please. Your Majesty, we all are aware before their departure, that Igrigi forest is a dead zone. We know how dreaded Igrigi forest is. We all are aware that it's the gods of procreation that sent our daughters on this very mission. Why can't we keep our hands crossed and allow the gods to have their way. What is the situation now? Mm -hmm. Are they safe? Your Majesty, I beg to take my leave. But I must warn. Let the gods have their way. You go. We sent our daughters on a deadly mission. And it is our duty to know how they are faring. Asking Ikuku, the eye of the gods, on their whereabouts should not make him stand stupid. Watch your tongue. You see Ikuku, you are referring to like that? Who told you he sounded stupid? Eh? Are you not here? Eh? Did he answer my question? He did not answer it. How can he neglect a simple question from an Igwe? We must learn how to caution anyone that is, regardless that he's a cuckoo. Okay, then. Okay, it's all right. Mm. Uh, I think he could answer the question with a warning signal. Oh! You know, these things are things of the gods. It's a spiritual matter. Though he is one of us, but he is the eye of the gods. So I don't think he, he, he has erred. The dream I had last night was, was so terrible. Very terrible that when I woke up, I couldn't even eat, nor do anything in the house. Lokwa. Mama, tell us the dream. Maybe we can interpret it. In my dream, I saw our sisters in the bush as they were walking. Suddenly a python, a very big python came out and started chasing them. They were running, but none of them had strength. Immediately the python used its tail to hit Princess Chubo. Hey! Chubo fell down before others could come for help. Princess Chugo has been swallowed. Who is the corner? What's a deadly dream? Thank the gods. This type of dream, this type of dream just not come like that. Something must be wrong somewhere. Some realities are shown through dreams. Princess Chugo is a nice person. We went to her, she gave us audience, and also acted on it. The ghost will never allow anything to happen to her. And all of our sisters who embarked on that journey. I'm afraid. I'm afraid because my dreams are only something I cannot get off my head. Because they surely come to pass. Speak it out, Mama. Hey, don't say that again, okay? Nothing will happen today. 
Do you know what will happen? Once you get home, pick an egg. Take it to a road junction and fling it round your head seven good times. Uh -huh. And as you do, eh, you keep saying, nothing will happen to our sisters. Our sisters must not be hurt. Then at the seventh count, you break it. As you do, leave and don't look at it. Eh, and the dreams will vanish with its power. Where should I do it? Uh, I think it will be preferable you do it at night. Okay. My princess, why are you smiling? Finally, we are here. This is Igiwigi Forest. I am sure none of us have been here before. So, how did you know that you are in the forest? Shh. Listen. Yes. My father said it. He said that the spirits blow flutes in Igrigi Forest. And once we hear the sound, then we should be certain that we are the exact place. I'm happy. We are the right place. My father said so. But he also warned us not to spend much time in this forest. So why didn't Agadinwai tell us all this? Why? She mustn't tell you everything. She said Ikuku would do the rest. Remember, she did not describe the exact place our sister's body was buried. But Ikuku mentioned it to us. I'm happy. So what do we do? Are we going to start digging the entire Grigri forest? I'm not a problem. This is it. Now, we have toyed all these days, slept in this bush, and finally, we have gotten to the almighty Igirigi forest. The question is, how do we locate the grave? Because I, I see us going on with nothing. That will never happen. My happiness is that you are here now. Yes, we have toiled, but we found a place. In good health. So all we have to do now is to calm down and search for the grave. Remember, we were told that the grave has stones around it. We have to search for it. All we have to do now is to split ourselves and search for it. There is no time. We have to do all we have to do. Charlotte, my no I found it. Everybody, come. This is the place. Oh, no doubt. This is the grave. Exactly. Look at the stones. Let's dig. Give me the hole. The hole. Ibuga, I think something is wrong about our women and their journey to Igriki Forest. Of course. Yes. It's almost three market days. Three market days, Igwe has not said anything. Even the elders. I think something is wrong. They are not safe. Have you forgotten that Igwe's only child 
is there with them. Hmm? Even uh, Ichie Udo's daughter, Adama, she's also there with them. Even your niece, Ebube, Dabati, which one? <laughs> Better stop that. She's equally there with them. Yes, so <laughs> if they like, let them call for a meeting. If they don't, let them sleep. Fala jela lobola. What's up? Ah, but you know, as a woman, you know. If I may ask, Ibuka, eh? what type of meeting are you talking about? See, I was expecting Iwe and the cabinet members to call the villagers for a meeting. At least, at least from there, they should select some able-bodied men that will go in search of our sisters. Yes, since we have not seen them, I think we should come together. Let's gather together and look for a solution. My point is that who knows if they are safe. Now you're talking, you're right. But if there's any problem so far, I believe the eyes of the ghost or Agadi wine must have raised an alarm. Because they see. Because you and I know that they see. Think about it, Ipuka. You are right. You are right. But uh, just that I am worried. Mm. You know they are women. Why they are women? Eh? Consider your sister. You know? What should we be passing through inside the forest? I don't know. Uh, 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 Ipuka, wait. Wait. Let us talk about what is our problem now. Forget about it. Please. Uh, meanwhile. Ikuku said it's a small grave dotted with stones. We have searched other places. No other place except here. Yet we can't find anything. The worst thing that will happen to us is for this to be a fruitless journey and for our people to still remain in this curse. What do we do now? Since we have searched the grave and we couldn't find anything. So what do we do? No matter how many years the dead has been in the grave, the bones shall still be there. Why did we come here in the first place when we couldn't find anything? Why? Why? I have a suggestion. What is it? I suggest we pack sand from this gravesite and go home. Remember that we are one not to spend a lot of time in this forest. And we are taking time already. Let's pack sand from here and go home. After all, it was a small girl that was buried. I believe by now bones and flesh must have turned to sand. So let's pack it and go home instead of wasting time here. Nice thought, Adana. Nice thought. Let's do that and leave quickly. But Agadwine said, a skeleton or a bone. Agadwine said what? Get it, Agadwine said. So since we do not say a skeleton or a bone, we should remain here. Hey, Teban! Is that why you're shouting? Why are you shouting? Okay, Mechon, because. Why are you shouting? It's enough already. We don't have time for this. We have to hurry and leave this place. It seems the spirits heard our voices and the flute suddenly stopped. It's high time we left. Please, Ada, please, pack as many sound as you can. Let's leave this place before we are being harmed. <laughs>
saya ada. I can't make it. I am tired. Ada, ada, ada. Ada, ada. Please, don't say this. I understand that you should be tired. In fact, we all are tired. We have toyed in this bush. We have gone to Igirigi Forest. And now it's time for us to go home. You want to give up on us? Please, hold on to your strength. Let's go. Please. No, no. I am tired. Hey. Princess Chuko. Oh God! Hello. Mr. Nachi. Please, my sisters. I am very happy that we all did this to save our sisters and our born babies. I am equally happy that we brought our minds to do this. Give up on them and they will be. They sacrificed their lives. <laughs> what are we going to tell the people at home about our fallen sisters? <laughs> what are we going to tell them? <laughs> I can't make it. I don't know. <laughs> don't say it. Tell, 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 tell my, tell, tell my father, my mother, and they care them my one name. But I could not make it. No. Never! I can make it! Never! No. I can make no. it! No! 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 Such dreams should not be taken very serious. For the fact that you saw your sister dead doesn't mean that she's dead. I hope you didn't tell your mother this. But no. My mother would just collapse. It is just a dream and not a reality. Expect more dreams. But don't take it so serious. I have been dreaming too. But I don't take it very serious. All we need to do right now is to pray to the gods for their protection. I am sure they will be on their way back now. Gods of our land, please protect Ebube. Tadima, Nkem, Wango, Efes Nachi, Princess Chugo, and another man one name. Bring them back to Amuda safely. He say... I'm just scared. Don't worry, they'll be fine. All we need to do is to pray to the gods. I was on my way to your house. I hope all is well. All is well. I just want to come and discuss the issue of this uh, that uh, we don't get this uh, of protein. We all have been silent about it. Hmm. That is true. And we must do something fast before these girls will come back. Yes. Uh, Igwe to that is supposed to be the advocate of this thing. He's silent also. What is going on? Uh, let us go to my house. Okay. This is very important. All right. Let's go. I was thinking is when they come back that will commence the Obanje ritual. I, I did not forget. So what do we do? We can't just keep being quiet because it is our responsibility. 
this girl in question died out of negligence. We have done this very tradition to all our female children. And now the gods have instructed that we shall do for Udogadi. And we are here being less concerned. Oh, no, Dugo. Mind how you run your mouth in this palace. Who is keeping quiet or, or being less concerned? Didn't you hear what the, the king said? I am very angry that things are turning this way in this village. I am so sad that our women are out there in the thick forest where every dangerous animal dwell. Fine. I don't have mine there. But I am a father. So what do we do? You shall contribute to two calories each. Huh? So that we'll buy a she goat. Present it to Agadim Wang. Then beg her to begin the ritual. Your Majesty. Uh, are you sure that uh, she will agree to come and do that? Uh, otherwise, I suggest we call Ikuku. Let him come and uh, perform the ritual. Instead. No. The ritual of Obanje is solely the responsibility of a priestess. Ikuku has no business with it. I shall personally send for her. The Ichei, are you going to borrow me some cowries? Mm -hmm. But you wouldn't bring this out. We will find a way out. Find but, Mm, it, it's obvious that he was reminiscing over the trouble in our community, already staring us on our faces. Eh? Come to think of it, since his daughter was sent on this journey, how many times has he summoned us for a meeting in this palace? Imagine an Igwe claiming that he forgot this Udoga, this uh, uh, tradition. <laughs> Imagine an Igwe. Uh, Iche Udo. Hey! When a father loses a son <laughs> or a daughter, it becomes so painful. Okay. I am not saying that uh, our Igwe <laughs> or myself, who also has a, a daughter in the search, is not worried. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that uh, we should give our Igwe some time to provide a solution to the trouble already in this community. Uh, see, see, uh, we must be fast on this uh, Udoga, this tradition of a thing. We must be fast. The Igwe said that he will send for Ikuku. Mm. But how soon will that be? Amen, Gwangwa. Amen, Alodachi. I will suggest that we rush to Ikuku mm. and tell him that the Igwe requests to see him. Eh? Mm. We need to remove uh, 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 this hole in our stomach. Hey. Ha. You eh. You are right. Let us go at once. Okay. Hey. Uh, I wasn't thinking towards this direction. No, no that, well, that so, is it. When we get there, we will tell him that the Igwe requests eh. to see him. Majesty, His Majesty, I'm losing it. How long am I going to wait for my daughter? I don't even know if she's dead or alive. Nobody is telling me anything. Ikuku has refused to say something about this. Did you go to our shrine for this? Yes. Yes, I did. Is it a taboo for Her Majesty? to see the eye of the gods, especially when it concerns her family. It is not in your position to make such a move. You must learn to be calm and patient. I have told you repeatedly that other children with her there 
are children of other women like you. Stop disturbing me. Uh, let me repeat it again. There must be sacrifice. And if Chugo, our daughter, happens to be the one that will put her life in the line, so be it. Oh. Okay, Sikwe. She can put in her life because you do not care. Because she's a woman. That is why a king like you will not stop her from that journey. I know I'm unable to give you a son. That is the only offense I committed. You keep saying this. And you are still under my roof. Chugo is grown, married. You still have all this in, in your mind, in your subconsciousness. If I need a son, I know how to get it. But as for Chugo, we must keep our fingers crossed. Just say yes to him and all will be fine. I should say yes to a drunk who is supposed to be my husband. How can? Ha, Okunde, wait a Am I that ugly that even you, my own brother, will be telling me this? Yeah, you get it wrong. He only gets drunk on occasions. And market days, and that's all. Mm. And you didn't see anything bad in that? Nothing is wrong. You did not see anything bad in that? Nothing is bad. Okundu, go and tell that Onyeka, or whatever his name is, that I, Ogodima, is not interested. See, apart from the fact that he drinks, I am not ready to look at any man's face mm. until we solve the issue of Dogadi, which our sisters are here to return. In as much as we're waiting for them here, we have to say yes to him, so that as soon as our sisters are back, eh, he will come with his family. Chai. And as for your hand in marriage, I wonder why most of you are brothers are self-centered. All you do is to push me to go marry one idiot. Mm. So that you will come and eat, drink, and you move to the next person. Life is not like that. Though. Life is not like that. Okundu, it's high time you go and talk to that Onyeka. Advise him. Tell him the bad effect of being a drunk and stop pushing me for marriage. I have every right to make my choice. And like I said earlier, none of us is ready to lose any child in marriage. So, we all have to calm down until we finish the Udoga this final commitment. In fact, I'm excused to be. A good. A good. Okay. What are you doing? So you now you now cook. Fresh water and wash your clothes. Ah! So you're now a bachelor. When will this end? This is not supposed to be a problem. I can do it. Listen, it will end when my wife comes back. Whoever that is giving you that hope, as anybody that is telling you that if your wife will come back, that person is a fool. Anyway, I was here yesterday and I couldn't find you. Yes, I went to Amoda to see my in-laws. My wife's grandmother is sick, so I went to give them some money. Yes. You did what? You went to Amoda. That your grand whatever is sick, you went to give them money. My wife's grandmother is sick, so I want to assist them with some money. Is that is, is that bad? 
She's my wife's grandmother, so I can assist her in something. Why don't you keep that money so that we can use the money and, and look, look for look for a new wife? So you are st you are still hoping that Ed will come back? No, can you will? Ed will come back. Fine, it's your money. Dan, did you hear any good news as regards to your Ulube? That is none of your business. You can go and get a new wife, like you've always advised. Yet all the women are rejecting you. All of them. Noka. Noka, Mary, as if you've gotten a new wife. Noka, is it because of that 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 little girl that's not matured? You know that girl is not matured. Huh? She said that I have expired. You can imagine me, Noka, expired. When I'm still very strong and can do so many things that I can't. Uh, huh? Don't mind, don't mind the little girl. No, not your time. You see, I'm, I want to prepare something I'll eat. Let me fix myself. You have my time. And I'm telling you something. You're still telling me that you want to pass something you will eat. What do you mean? I've been doing these things. I've been cooking for myself and doing a lot of things for myself before I married her. So why can't I do it now? Before you married who? Before I married my wife. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Who is your wife? Who is your wife? That's our mother, eh? Your wife. Okay, continue. Ripa. Ripa. My wife, Abagari. Ndoka's wife, Abagari. The other time was Hippopo. Today is Abagari. Hear my name. Adama! Hugo! Can you hear the names? A human voice. The voices are strange. Could it be humans or spirits? We are almost home. And voices are heard. We better keep moving. Those voices do not sound like humans. Listen very carefully. It sounds like a human voice. A human voice? Who could be calling us in this thick forest? Please, if you're not leaving, I'm going to leave you behind. I'm tired. Whoa, God. Is that you? Always me. Eh? Come on, call up. Hold on, hold on, please. Everybody. Wait, wait, wait. They might be spiritus. Okay. Don't waste it. It's me. Everybody. 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 I'm glad you're still alive. Yes. May the gods be praised. What happened? It's a long story. But we have the head of Udo God. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Okay. Show them. We have the head. <laughs> May the gods be praised! Yes. May the gods of our ancestors be praised! Yes. What happened? We got to the grave. We digged and digged and digged. Yet, we couldn't find anything. How were we able to get this? And we packed the sand instead of going empty handed. Yes. Same with me. The little girls. The little girls we met. The little girls we followed. They were spirits. But the smaller one, she was, she was actually Udogadi. I don't want.
want all of you to suffer because of me anymore. I regretted laying a curse on my own flesh and blood. Though the way I was neglected and killed brought great pain to me. All the female babies that have died because of this curse shall be returned. I'm Udogadi, your sister. Forgive us. Forgive our brothers. Forgive our fathers. Please forgive Amoda. Please. We don't want to suffer anymore. Please. Set us free. I know that a day like this will come. I know. A day of sorrow because of carelessness of men. Your journey ends here. Your sisters will go to Igrigi Forest in vain. They will see my grave but won't see anything in it. This is my skull. Take it to Amoda. Let them bury it. And make a burial of my father and mother. They are already done with my Obanje tradition. Bury this in my father's compound. And tell the king to share my father's vast land. To all of you who brought out yourself for this journey. All of you will get home in peace. Among the seven of you, I will reincarnate in one of your home. Take these birds, tell them not to go to Amoda without some the gods from my grave. All of you will get home in peace. Go! 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 This, this is terrible. Ah, may the gods be praised. They have been so kind to us. Ah, let's go. Now you know what to do with this. Hey. No, I know. Hey. I know. Hey. We are free. Sent a message that whoever is having a hand in any of Udogade's father's properties should henceforth desist. Even the seeds on the land must be uprooted. Igwe, we should know when to believe in some messages from the gods. Eh? So we don't obey human messages thinking it's from the gods. How can we start uprooting our crops just like that? Or are we dragging land with anyone? Igwe, I am one of the people that are farming on that land. You see, we all know that the land is not ours. It's because I was too body that was using the land. That's why we decided to farm on it. And you couldn't notice the only seed when she was alive. But you know how to use her late father's land? Udo, are you referring to me? Even if I refer to you, will you kill me? Will you eat me up? The eye of the gods has delivered a strong message from the gods. You will do the needful. Whoever is having a hand in any of those lands 
should please desist. I have spoken. Igwe. Why the sudden remembrance of this land? If I may ask, does it mean that Igwe want to take the land or what? Same thing that I'm still thinking about. Why didn't Ikuku make the pronouncement before us? What is the business of the girls with the land? Do they walk or farm? Another thing is that our king is a very good man. I don't think he will have such a problem. But how do I put my yam? My kuku yam? My cassava? What type of thing is this? I can only complain if that's the only place I farm. Thank the girls I farm other places. Our fathers collectively use the farm. Let's obey the girls. Let us obey them. Your Majesty, I greet you. Udo. I salute you. No. Your Majesty, the gods asked me to inform you that you should tell your subjects, our people, the people of Amuda, that their daughters are on their way back. This message should be passed across the entire village of Amuda. Let this message go across their homes let their husbands, their friends, and their family come out once their leg touch this land. There should be a thunderous noise because it is a fruitful journey. Igwe, your daughter's husband must not be seen around her because the gods are angry with him. He neglected royalty. Almost home. We have done our best for the village and for our future. We all went with our lives. At least, if not for anything, we should learn that being our sister's keeper should be the greatest task. Our father's heir, and we paid for it with our lives. Be courageous, my sisters. Please, we should keep moving. Chugo. If a sinachi. Mwogo. Ebube. Nkem. Adama. Bikono. We should keep moving, please.
done for us. You see, our daughters who went for the journey of unknown, they are back home. Self, hell, and the hearty. <laughs> None of them was declared missing. Yeah. Okay. You can see we have every reason to be happy. Thanks, yeah. 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 Thanks you. <laughs> They traveled seven mountains, mm. seven rivers, mm. and brought home the remains of our dear daughter, Udogadi, mm. whose remains is now resting at Uwagadiwai. It calls for celebration. Yeah. It calls for celebration. Yeah. It calls for celebration. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, You've traveled to far away, Odi. Get us the best of their pan wine. We will serve our guest. Next Ekema Kedde is the day for celebration. Yeah. <laughs> Igwe, I know what to do. Ichi, if I Go round the entire neighboring communities. Inform their kings to assemble their people. They are invited. That is, that is done already. It is done. It is done. We want all our masquerades to perform. Ijere must perform. Mbadike must perform. <laughs> Akaba must perform. <laughs> Ezaga must perform. <laughs> oh, the great masquerade. Hey, Pachi. They must perform. Hey, hey. consider it done. You know, that is my idea of speciality. I will bring all of them down here. Ichi Anna do go. Igwe. Igwe. It's not supposed to be assigned anything. Ichi, if I didn't calm down. <laughs> we are in a celebrative mood. Uh, Ichi Onodugo, uh, Igwe, assemble all our women. They must cook for us special delicacies known to our people. Ha! Ah, food! 
He is not supposed to be assigned to any duty. Yeah, yeah. His daughter was yeah, not supposed to be again. After all, am I the one who told the gods not to touch my daughter? He is not supposed to be part of the journey. He is not supposed to be part of this. I will use 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 this. I will Igwe, hey mama fuma. I will assemble the food. Iba for Kwenu. Yeah. I have spoken. Igwe. Okay. After waiting patiently for our daughters to return, you are just seated like elephant, eh? Waiting to be assigned to for for. Then, hear them ma. Hear them ma. You will continue waiting patiently. Continue waiting patiently. Oh my.